Hi, my name is John. I'm a mechanic here at Performance Bicycle. Derailers guide the chain from gear to gear, and when they work, they're great, but when they don't, you're stuck and you're frustrated. So take a deep breath, relax, I'm going to show you how to adjust your gears. First, a little background. Derailleur adjustment is dependent on just three things. Derailleur alignment. This is the derailleur's alignment relative to the frame and drivetrain. The rear should hang parallel to the plane of the bike. Cable tension. This is controlled by barrel adjusters located on the derailleur, the shifters, and in the case of road bikes, on the down tube cable housing stops. Stop or limit screws. These are the two screws on the derailleur body that limit how far the derailleur can swing to the outside, H for high gear, and to the inside, L for low gear. These keep the chain from shifting off the cassette. Let's get started on your misshifting rear derailleur. Inspect the gear cable and housing. They should not be rusted, kinked, split, or frayed. If there's any problem or the cable does not move freely, have your performance shop replace it. Now check the chain for stiff links and or bends. Turn the cranks backward and watch the chain's progress through the pulleys. If you see the cage jump, you likely have a bad link and or a bend in the chain. You can try to fix this link by flexing the chain slightly from side to side. If that doesn't work, you must replace your chain. Next, check the alignment. The chain runs through a cage with the two pulleys. The cage should be parallel to the plane of the bike. If it looks bent or it's out of alignment, then you need to have your local professional mechanic take a look at it. Okay, your cable and chain are good. What's the next step? Shift the rear derailleur to the highest gear. That's the most outboard and smallest cog. At this point, you're going to check the high limit screw, H. Look at the pulley cage. It should line up directly under the highest cog. If it's too far outboard, turn the H limit screw clockwise until the pulley cage is correctly aligned. If it is too far in, try unscrewing the H one turn counterclockwise. Did the derailleur move out? Did it align? If it didn't move outboard, the cable is too tight and you'll need to reduce the cable tension. The barrel adjuster on the rear of the derailleur controls cable tension. Turn it one turn clockwise. Did the derailleur move outboard? Aligned? Good. Stand up and pat yourself on the back. You're halfway home with the rear derailleur. Now you're going to try shifting to the next cog up, the next biggest one. While turning the pedals, shift once. Did you make the shift? Is it quiet? Answer yes to both means you can skip ahead to setting the low stop screw. If the derailleur clatters and clanks and doesn't shift, you need to increase cable tension. Turn the barrel adjuster on the back of the derailleur until the cage aligns with that second cog. Now, check it again. How did it do? Is it good but noisy? Fine tune the cable tension to eliminate the noise. Once you've dialed in the highest cogs, the rest should click right into place. So shift up the cassette and make small tension adjustments as necessary. At this point, shift up to the lowest cog. You're ready to set the low L stop screw. First, take a look at the pulley cage. It should be directly under the lowest cog. If it is, find the L stop screw and tighten it clockwise until the cage just moves. Then back off 1 16th of a turn. Now check it by shifting down one gear and then back up. If the pulley cage is a little outboard, unscrewing the L screw should allow it to move to proper alignment. Now run the gears. Perfect. Nice job.